back by my bookshelf. Yes, I rearranged my entire house again. Today's soap is gonna have a few soap gummy bears on it. Fragrance I chose to use for this batch of soap is mango coconut milk. Because it's called this, I am adding coconut milk. Now this time I actually paid attention to the vanillin content of this fragrance oil and it is high. Therefore, I'm going to be using some vanilla stabilizer. This was a gift from my wonderful friend, Laura. This is, I, I have never used a vanilla stabilizer before. I'm curious how it works, if it works. So I'm literally going to have half the batch without this and the other half using this because I want to see how well this works with this particular fragrance oil. I don't quite know what to expect. So as I said, along with using some coconut milk, we're also going to be putting in some kaolin clay because it is rumored, could be completely false, but it might be true that kaolin clay will help keep your fragrance oil in the soap longer because clay is absorbent. So it must absorb the fragrance oil, I don't know. And some sugar, this is powdered sugar specifically. No, I don't know if uh, there's any difference between using powdered sugar and granulated sugar, but I do know that they're both sugar. So the design of the soap is basically going to be an experiment of using a fragrance oil with a high vanillin content, half of it's gonna have a stabilizer in it, what's the difference gonna look like, and then we're gonna have some beautiful little gummy bears all over the place. Here we have our lovely oils almost completely melted. And then here we have our fragrance oil as well as all of our little additives. And remember that would be coconut milk, kaolin clay, and powdered sugar. So we'll go ahead and add that. Directly to our oils. There is no lye involved yet. This is already looking beautiful, isn't it? I think I'm going to go ahead and stick blend it and then add our lye. It's a wonderful fruity, kind of a, a sour fruit smell. I suppose mango is kind of sour. So the lye water does not have anything special in it. It is purely lye water. I do not have the notes on whether or not this is going to accelerate, so that will be a surprise. Alrighty, I think we're good there. It does look like it's accelerating a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't get dramatic on me. Pour part of it into here. rest into here. Well, I'm going to hopefully make it kind of even. This fragrance sort of kind of looks like it's separating. I'm going to do a little bit more stick blending. Uh, to this one, I'm going to add our stabilizer. This definitely looks like it's separating. It's not as dramatic as that uh, coconut eucalyptus that I have, but it's, it's a, uh, what do you, what would you say? Hairy looking? It's not smooth like pancake batter. So I am going to pour down each side and then chopstick them to see if we can see any kind of a difference with the vanilla stabilizer. Well, it didn't accelerate too bad, even with all that blending. So now I'm doing this chopstick swirl because I want to see if we can swirl any differences in the uh you already know I don't need to keep explaining it do I looks nice and creamy now very pretty I am going to be just loading it with gummy bears and then when I cut it I'm going to put gummy bears on the front this is just going to be a gummy bear soap so let's load it not in any particular way either. Kind of messily, the way that gummy bears fall. I'm going to try to fit quite a few in here too. I already uh, took out the ones that I thought looked the best. Some of these look a little special and uh, the ones that are not special and very plain and normal and expected looking, those are the ones I have removed. Those are the ones that are gonna go in the front. 
By the way, these little gummy bears are actually made out of the melt and pour from my gemstone soap because I had some gems left over. And I decided I didn't really want to make another gemstone soap, so I'm just going to melt these little gemstones and turn them into gummy bears. And that's what I did. The reason why I chose to put the ones that were not quite uh, perfectly molded on top is because these are the ones that are going to get cut, and so it's okay. And I suppose we're done here. I don't know how many more I can fit. So, see you for the cut. The next day, you can't really see much discoloration. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. That might just be from the way that I stirred it. Maybe the, I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna open it and find out what's going on. Also, once I cut this, because if there is any discoloration, it doesn't usually show up until it's been exposed to the air for a while. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and uh, let it do its thing, I guess. Oh, look at the air, yeah. Wow, isn't that neat? That vanillin stabilizer really does something. So here we got this side. Cool. Look at that. Isn't that something? Who would have thought? Well, I'm sure a lot of people would have thought because a lot of people already knew that that stuff worked. Thank you, Laura. By the way, Laura's YouTube channel is Couch Patch Soaps. So if you ever want to check her out. She's been doing a lot of live streams lately, which is really, really cool. So this is what I expected on the inside was no color change. You can kind of see the swirl in there, but it's going to change. So I'm going to, before I, whoa, before I do my, my outro, uh, I'm going to let this go ahead and change. Also, I need to attach my little gummy bears that are going to be on it. So here's our first full bar. You can see our swirl. It looks like a ghost swirl right now. Which is also cool, but it's not going to stay that way. So I'm planning to attach gummy bears around this. It smells great. It smells very tropical. And very sweet. And it's so cool to learn that that vanilla stabilizer works. It's amazing. Really cool. got some plans lined up for my future soaps finally. I finally sat down and was like, okay, it's time to get busy on the soap channel again. So I have some plans. Cutting those in half for samples. So then I'm going to cut these in half sample size. So I take one of these slices and slice these in half and these will be the sample bar. So the way I'm going to stick these on here is very not complicated at all. Just got a regular needle and let's pick a spot. How about right here? Good a spot as any of the others, right? Just scratch it a little bit. Here I've got water, plain water, with a plain old little paintbrush. Nothing special. Then, get my little gummy bear, put a little bit of water on the back, and now here's the complicated part, stick it on there. You might want to press a little bit, but like 
melt and pour sticks pretty well. I mean, cold process sticking to cold process also works well. I've done that, but melt and pour sticks better. It's stickier. And I am just picking the locations at random because these gummy bears are falling at random. You see, they're supposed to be falling or have fallen. Gotta be careful not to squish his little legs off of him. It's been about six hours since I've cut the soap and the darker parts have gotten a little bit darker. Nothing too dramatic as you can see, but you can also clearly see that there is a difference. And if a little bit of bubbles come out, you just kind of mop it away. And I'm going for about five per bar. This looks almost too symmetrical, doesn't it? I need to be a little more random. Maybe I'll throw in an extra bar, an extra bear. All right, I'm happier with that because it's not so symmetrical, like I said. And that's what they're gonna look like. I guess I'm gonna go for about six per bar. So our question for the day, does vanilla stabilizer work? There's no better proof than proof. It absolutely works. Look at the difference here. It literally canceled out the brown caused by the high vanillin percentage in the fragrance oil and allowed it to be the color of plain soap batter. It's incredible. It's like magic, but I suppose it's more like chemistry. So I say if you would like to not have a brown soap, look into getting some vanilla stabilizer. Thank you so much, Laura for your kindness and thoughtfulness. She gave it to me because she has watched many of my videos and has recognized the fact that I make brown soaps on accident because of my fragrance oils that like to have vanillin in it. The smell is very good, very sweet. I suppose the sweet smells usually have pretty high vanillin in it, vanillin content. Turned out really well. I like all the swirls inside. You see a lot more swirls looking at the actual bar because it like made ridges. The swirls are rigid. It's not just visual, visual, but it's physical. There are swirls in the bar. It's super cool looking. I like it. What do you think, Boris? Well, thank you for taking the time to watch another one of my videos. I have some plans for future soaps. I should be coming out with a few more soap videos if you want to watch. You know? No, I'm not going to talk about that. Never mind. See you next time.